What's going on YouTube? It is Flashback here. Today we're going to be talking about the latest update in Wreckfest. This is actually going to be the second time I'm doing this video because the first one got corrupted. Don't ask me why. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But if you do like the fact that I'm putting in the extra effort to get this video out to you, leave a like down below please. I, I need it after today. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. It's not even the first time I've tried recording this particular video, just the first time today. But anyway. Oh, well, uh, gonna start here with just the update, uh, log here. I'm just gonna read it throughout. So, as always, the update contains a host of important fixes and improvements based on the feedback we've received, but without any doubt, the highlights of this update are the new mixed three-track as well as badass folk racing-inspired version of the European three-car, as pictured in the title image. Being a low-tier beater version of European three-car... This new car offers you a first glimpse of how the career of the game will work, with players starting from the bottom and working their way up to better events with better cars. Other than that, we've made an effort to improve the new health system so it should make more sense and support the type of gameplay we want to encourage. We've also improved all cars by tweaking the suspension setups, fixing some of the aerodynamic properties, improving gear shift logic, as well as tuning the driving, driving, driving assists. And as a result, the actual business of racing should feel better, no matter what your skill level. And finally, the modders now have an ability to fine-tune AI routes as well as view trackside cameras. So just a list of all the updates that they did perform. They added a new tr work in blah, new work in progress track, Mixed 3, added a new folk racing variant of European 3, and now requires heavy hits to cause any damage to the chassis in case the body panels are almost or fully intact. Low or moderate jumps no longer cause damage to the chassis health on landing unless the chassis is in critical condition. Health bars now display correct, reading also in replays, which is nice. Improved car cameras and related effects, which I'll get into. It's kind of nice how, what, how they did it. Improved shifting logic for automatic gearbox. I might try automatic in the race, but I'm going to do uh, the first race is actually going to be just me drifting around the track, kind of testing out the new physics and everything. Uh, it's now possible to skip gears when downshifting, which... When you were running manual, if you tried to downshift, it would basically force you to wait until it downshifted to be able to downshift again. Uh, improved stability and traction control assist to make them more usable. Imp exposed developer track data and trackside camera visualization. Racing line adjust tool and free camera for modded tracks. You can use a, it goes into some modding things there. Use tool key, etc. And F11 to enable free camera. Added an ability to set effects to panel release and unlocking. So basically when the vehicle takes damage. Fixed buggy checkpoints on Speedway 1 and Tarmac 2. Improved AI routes on a number of tracks. Fixed rough geometry on the Sandpit 3 intersection, causing cars to flip. And they also added more grass to Sandpit 3. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just take a quick look here. I don't have the money for it, but this right here is the European 3 second edition. And I will make a quick note. When I went into race here, the first time I went to look for Mix 3, it was not available. Like Only Tarmac 3 was, none of the other 3s were. I actually had to go and disable all of my track-related mods to be able to access it. So I'm guessing there must be some sort of max track count. If this is a hydraulic lift, where are the legs, the feet, to lift the car up? I just noticed that. Actually, I've never really looked around the garage. Anti-aliasing anti issues here and there. Some tires up there. Very chrome tires, too. I'm pretty sure they don't belong in this car. Extra track. Some nice depth of field options. Boy, that'd be kind of a neat picture there. So, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here. I'm going to go into a race. Alright, so here we are, loaded in. Uh, this is not where you spawn, you do spawn a little further back here. I just went here to kind of play with it, uh, test out some... Not even test out some things, honestly, I took a thumbnail. So let's just take a look around at the track here real quick. It's a very pretty track. So, like I said, the first, uh, first time on the track here is going to be... Uh, basically, basically just me testing the physics in terms of drifting and such, and racing, etc. With stability on full, nothing else on. Oh, wow. It lets you, uh, 
definitely lets you keep accelerating while, while sliding, which is nice. You can actually hold a proper line, which, again, will be very nice when it comes to uh, drifting in multiplayer. Come on, come on, computer. Or not computer. That wasn't computer. That was all me. I'm noticing a slight drop in performance now compared to what I was running before. I'm guessing it's because I'm having to record on my on my main on uh, on my playing desktop because my recording desktop no longer has a graphics card. Well, the game does definitely feel very solid in terms of uh, handling now. Very uh, honestly, it feels realistic. Whoa! <laughs> that not so much. That not so much. I guess we're probably gonna have to reset. Oh no, I can get it flipped here. Or it can flip for me, I should say. So I do apologize for the lower quality and uh and audio here with my microphone. I did what I could, but unfortunately my other microphone is currently hooked up to my recording computer. I don't even have the drivers installed on this computer and I don't have that much time to record tonight or today, so I didn't have a chance to really adjust anything there. Wow, look at that. I was able to slide all the way around and keep sliding. That's something you can do before. Didn't even use the e-brake there. That was all throttle control. It's nice to be able to do that. I'm thinking I need to turn my texture quality down if I'm going to be recording on the, on the PC I'm playing on. I really didn't want to have to do that, and I'm not gonna this time. We're just gonna have to deal with the slightly lower frame rates than usual. But yeah, I'll go into this view. Now nah, we need this view. Wow. I definitely did not need to downshift down to third. Oh, it's beautiful. The game honestly feels kind of like... Honestly, it kind of feels like Forza Horizon now. That's how easy it is to drift. Now again, this is a car that I specifically built to drift using the additional parts mod. Which basically is just decked out with all the racing stuff possible. car definitely feels very stable on both dirt and asphalt and the uh, transitions feel incredibly stable as well which is something we haven't seen out of this game really ever so it is nice to see that making its way into the game some more uh, multi-surface stability in the vehicles basically meaning the suspension is actually true sports suspension Whereas before, it felt like old jalopy suspension. And that's the wrong way. River Sentry. Ah. Didn't have quite enough speed going into that to do as much angle as I attempted to do. Oh god, look at that. You can just hold it. You can downshift to be able to hold the inner line, or you can stay in a slightly higher gear to be able to hold the outer line. God, look at that. It is so nice. The game honestly feels absolutely tremendous right now. And I'm so glad it does. Oh god, I stayed in too high of a gear there. And I keep on figuring in which way this this term actually goes. There we go. That was a very nice uh, slide there. Yep transition there was way too steep honestly the video quality here may suffer as well as the audio and I do apologize for that it is what it is unfortunately there's not a whole lot I can actually do so 
that's going to be it for the drifting, the uh, physics test there. Next, we're going to go into a race on the reverse section of the track and see how uh, see how the AI feels now. Okay, so I decided to adjust the graphics settings slightly. I kept the textures up, but I removed some anti-aliasing and like one other thing completely in the grass. anti ali anti I disabled double A, A and uh, the other thing, grass. Thought about disabling shadows, but it, the game was just so ugly without them. So without any further ado, we are running reverse here. I am not running automatic, it just didn't feel right to me. So we actually need to slow down and let the AI take their route, and we'll adjust for that. Oh god. Whatever, I'm gonna slide it anyway, screw you. I'm gonna slide it and pull, because that's what you do in this game. Slide the car around the track and pull away slightly. Yeah, I knew he was going to pass me there. There wasn't a whole lot I could do about it, though. Yeah, drifting's definitely not the fastest way around the track anymore. Let's run this, uh, this camera angle for this. I'm not going to run uh, cockpit view. It just isn't very accurate for me. I don't know why. It's just not something I really enjoy. I mean, it's nice to be able to do it, and it's nice that it is there. I don't know, it just isn't smooth, it's a little more rough than I would like, and it's not pretty. I don't know, the field of view in uh, copy view almost feels off to me. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm very picky about my uh, cockpit views, and not very many games do it right, in my opinion. Again, that's just me. I'm not any sort of expert or anything. I just like to consider myself decent at video games. I'm not the best at video games. I'm not even good. I'm just decent. God, I love the real to life mod. Just adds so much. Just the extra smoke and dirt that you get out of it. Adds so much to the game. Yeah, get back here, sir. I'm gonna do the same thing to you again. Except this time I'm apparently gonna hit you and knock you off the track. Am I missing a tire? I'm missing a motherfucking tire. Well, let's see what we can do without that tire, huh? Let's see if I can win without a tire. Nope. Oh god. Oh god. It's gonna take so... Oh god. Oh good lord. Oh good lord. I'm so glad I'm not on my wheel right now. It turns left so easily, but right, not so much. So I guess I'm just going to drift it right. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to drift it to the right. Come on, no, 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 I want to at least get an entire lap in first place without a wheel. That would be so epic. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm, I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it slightly. Woo! This car is so slidey now. I'm gonna keep it in fourth. For that exact reason, I knew that was gonna happen. No, 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 no! God dang it. No. Oh, hey, Red's also missing a tire. Oh. Guess I'm not running that uh, camera angle anymore. All of a sudden, I wish I was running not an automatic. I just got a takedown assist. Very nice. God. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, turning right is still very similar in terms of uh, when you have the momentum to drift because it just lifts that front tire off the ground. Really? Well, I guess I'm just going to sit here and spin out for a while now. I'm in 8th out of 10th. The fact that I'm not last place. I don't want to cut that much. Good lord, get back on the track. So yeah, as long as you don't lose a tire, racing does feel very, uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. 
Why am I- what? I was most definitely not turning in that direction. Well, I guess I'm just gonna end it here. There's no way I can come back. Oh god. I mean, on the bright side, that's probably the best picture you're ever gonna get of, like, the interior of this cars. Oh well. Like I said earlier, if you do enjoy, did enjoy this, etc., please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next time. Until then, as always, take it easy. Bye!